My grandparents live in China, while I was born in America. During this summer break, some Chinese American kids and I went to China in hopes to find our roots there and how our Chinese ancestors lived. On July 31st, we visited the ancient school Songyang Academy. It has more than 1,500 years of history. I imagine how the older generations once studied, read books, and drank tea here. Before I left China, I would like to serve tea to my teachers and friends to end this trip to China. On July 30th, I met Mr. Yu Jiu Bo, the first tea teacher in my life, gave us a class with special flavor and feeling to me. Teacher Yu told us tea embodied the idea of peace and harmony in Chinese philosophy. It shows the relationship of people to nature, people to people, and people to society. I came to understand that as early as several thousand years ago, our ancestors already formed an integrated value system of about the world, society, and as well as to human life. I hope I may share my understanding and skill of making tea and enjoying tea with all my friends and teachers. Around sunset, I put on my all-white gown for tea servicing and looked forward excitedly to my guests coming. In the setting sun and changing twilight, we made tea and served tea with a sense of sincerity. Serving tea in China is a way of offering goodwill and intimacy. While I was serving tea, I found that the teachers and friends, as well as some strangers with warm smiles on their faces, this touched my heart. Sharing is nice, but it was time to say goodbye. This was a night that I experienced very unique, special, and satisfied feelings. I do feel so lucky, as Chinese culture and American culture are both in my life. I will do my best to promote the exchange and mutual understanding of those two cultures.